City's Queensland Week. So it seems only appropriate to have the Governor of our fine state as our guest for student press call this morning. Penelope Wensley was named, I think, Queensland's 25th Governor in 2008. Born locally in Toowoomba, her work as a diplomat has taken her all over the world, but she's ended up here, home, in Queensland. Your Excellency, good morning. Good morning. And thank you for your time this morning. I'm delighted to be here. And our students today are from Brisbane State High School. Can I also welcome all Year 12, uh, Kelsey, Mitchell, Theo and Daniel. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. State High, the oldest state high school in Brisbane. So we've been told. So we've been told, 90th birthday on July 23. Your teachers told you to tell me that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, all right. So Kelsey, what's your first question? So I've seen that you've had a very impressive career, both nationally and internationally, and you were the first Australian female to hold many prestigious positions. However, despite many advances in the rights of women in the past decades, uh, women are still represented poorly in many higher level positions. So I was just wondering, in your opinion, introducing a quota to ensure that Australian demographic is adequately reflected in all areas of the public and private sector, are you uh, um, going for this or are you more against this? I feel very strongly about creating better opportunities for women but uh, I believe that advancement has to be on merit. Uh, I feel uncomfortable overall with the idea of quotas. They can be useful in some circumstances but uh, uh, I don't want to see mediocre people in positions, men or women, and uh, there's a, there's a degree of compulsion about setting quotas that, uh, as I say, it makes me feel uncomfortable. I, I would like to see women encouraged, uh, good role models, given lots of opportunities, and I would certainly like to see business place more attention on getting more women onto boards. That's where we're seriously underrepresented. Kelsey, thank you for that question. Up next is Mitchell. Good morning, Mitchell. Good morning. Uh, on a bit of a different note from Kelsey, um, I'd like to ask a question to, the, to Governor Wensley pertaining to uh, her position. Within Australia's political system, your position of Governor-General is considered important as a means of checking the power of Queensland Government. Do you think that the presence of the Governor-General and the other state governors, including yourself, delegated by the Crown impedes on Australia's sovereignty? No, I don't. Uh, patently, uh, our current constitutional system is a constitutional monarchy and uh, it involves a system of checks and balances. It's, a, it's an old, long established system and uh, the governors technically are the personal representatives of Her Majesty the Queen as the, the head of the state of Australia. But in each state the um, process and the way that the, uh, the governor functions and contributes varies a bit. In Queensland we don't have an upper house. Uh, we're a unicameral system. So I feel an additional responsibility as governor to ensure that I am following very meticulously my constitutional responsibility of doing everything possible to ensure there is a stable government that has the popular support of the parliament and in particular to use judiciously my right, I suppose you could call it, um, established convention, my right to question, to seek further information, to encourage and to warn. I do that and uh, so I do take do satisfaction that. in that. Yeah, and when you say you do that, mm -hmm. how well, let me give you an example. Uh, this morning, every Thursday, uh, I will be presiding at the weekly meeting of the Executive Council. Uh, I receive a very large pile of documents um, every Wednesday that I go through uh, preparing for the meeting. There might be proclamations or uh, recommendations from ministers for appointments or something. Uh, yesterday, one of the documents, um, I was concerned. Uh, it was about uh, the reappointment of um, somebody in the system. And uh, the way I read uh, one of the acts, it wasn't clear to me whether um, uh, there could be a reappointment. Uh, so I rang, uh, just picked up the phone myself. To the minister? And, uh, I, I rang uh, Crown Law, or at least a contact who then consulted Crown Law, and uh, I was then satisfied and reassured by a briefing that I was given, and I said I need it by a certain time, 
uh, that in fact this was in order, it was consistent with the Act. Usually I'm looking very carefully to see that there's been a proper process of consultation um, and if there is an area that's controversial, I'll look particularly closely at that. Have you ever had 